So here it is. Let's check it out. This is the meat. This is the meat of the balance patch for me personally, right? Ryu. We're gonna start with health. Okay, so he has more health now, which is good. He has more stun now, which is good. Standing Life Punch. Adjusted so there, there will be no changes in the spacing interval if the active frames hit against an opponent in close quarters. I don't even know what they changed. I guess I'll have to test this one out. Standing Heart Punch. V Trigger 1 and 2. Relax the follow up attack restrictions during a crush counter. So, wait, what can I hit then? This is interesting. It's like, okay, if I hit a Heart Punch. They will allow me to combo it into what? Into Light Tatsu, maybe? I can confirm into EX Donkey Kick. Oh! Interesting. Okay, we're gonna test this out. That, that sounds interesting. Crouching Light Punch. Make the size of the collision box for active frame the same as... Like, what does that even mean? The same as CLP? Isn't that CLP? This seems to make no sense. But okay. I, I don't get this. Yeah, th this must be a typo, right? Whatever. It doesn't... Probably not major anyways. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, the collision box was different. Oh, I think we've actually seen this. Uh, somebody made a video on this at some point that... Um, a certain a certain combo, a very specific one, wouldn't work in V Trigger One mode or something like that, that and that was odd. Uh, he wanted to show, I think, that Crouching Light Punch works differently in V Trigger One mode. Apparently, they changed that. Oh wait a minute! Crouching Light Punch ha didn't have three active frames in V Trigger. I didn't even know that. Is that what they're trying to say? They're talking about the collision box, by the way, not about the hit box. Crouching Punch had different ranges and pushback. Interesting, interesting. But this should be a minor change. This isn't going to be affecting uh, Ryu players in a major way anyways. Uh, so let's move on. Crouching Medium Punch. Reduce the collision box. Okay. On whiff. Delayed the timing of the expansion of the collision box by one frame after the active frames end. Change so that the collision box will expand one frame after hit or block. Do I understand this properly so that it's even more difficult? No, actually, it should be easier to whiff punish. I'm actually not quite sure about this. I'll have to test this out a little bit. This seems like a minor change overall, though. If they had more active frames, they would say more active frames notorious. Collision box is not hurt box, by the way, guys. Uh, okay, so what is the collision box? The collision box is used to determine which side you're on. Oh, okay, so it's not the proximity box guard. Okay, 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 so the collision box, but let, let, let's get this straight. The collision box is not the hurt box. Okay, so the collision box will basically... Okay, so this will have an effect on what side the opponent will land on, apparently, in certain situations, right? So let's say let's say the opponent jumps and you do a crouching, light, uh, crouching medium punch. This can affect because it... Uh, uh, that changes the collision box, this could affect whether the opponent lands on the left or the right side, for example. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so, let me try to figure out what this even means. So they reduced the collision box. I I'm not quite sure what they're going for here, honestly. I'm not quite sure what they're going for. It seems like a really weird change. But we'll see. Maybe they're they're worried about some kind of inconsistency in certain jump situations. It doesn't really matter too much, though. This does not seem to be a big change, and I'm talking about it for like 12 minutes already. <laughs> yeah, it might affect some cross-up situations, right? We'll see about that. Crouching medium kick. Disadvantage on block decreased from minus 3 to minus 1. Oh my god. This really pissed me off, by the way, the minus 3. That's a good change. Expanded the forward hitbox. There we go. That's what we needed. That's beautiful. Yep. The question is how much bigger is it? And I could actually look it up right now. But since this is a first impressions video, uh, we're just going to take it uh, like that. Um, this is a big change for Ryu. 
this means he can finally uh, use his crouching medium kick a little bit more. Jodan Sanrengeki. Uh, what is this? Is this is this his target combo? It's his target combo, right? Disadvantage on hit for the second hit decreased from minus 9 to minus 2. This is great for, for casual players, by the way. So if you do hard punch, medium punch, hard punch, it's not punishable anymore. Uh, this is a great change for beginners, by the way. And disadvantage on, on block for the second hit decreased from from uh, minus 16 to minus 9. This is going to help beginners. Yeah, helps beginners versus crouching opponents. This is a change that was made so that um, beginners have an easier time. This will not affect me too much. <laughs> Again, I was like, okay, wow, color bone breaker. I was like, they're finally buffing the overhead because currently it's useless. And then I read this. <laughs> oh man, they got me good. <laughs> uh, disadvantage of block increased from minus 6 to minus 7. I don't get this. I don't get this. Seriously, I don't get this. Like, Ryu's overhead is so terrible, you almost never want to use it. And now they're making it even more punishable. I don't get this at all. By the way, if you time a, a super meaty overhead, it's now even more punishable because of that change. I don't know, Devil Reapers, I really don't know. Oh, it's a universal change? Yeah, but like some overheads are actually, it can be spaced properly. Yeah, Chris, I actually d uh, rarely drink uh, sugary beverages. Mostly I drink water. I actually have water next to me, but I felt like drinking a Red Bull Cola today. Anyways, this is a weird one in my opinion. The Colorborn Breaker, that seems weird. Okay, Medium Shoryuken. Made the cance CA cancel timing the same as Light and Heavy Shoryuken. Uh, I didn't even know there was a difference, to be honest. But honestly, Medium Shoryuken Critical Art rarely comes up as well, so... Medium Tatsu. Expand the forward hitbox for the first hit. Holly oh my god. That's actually... Gr like, that's important. That's an important change. This is something I got frustrated by quite a lot. Um, because um, there are certain combos where some people have always said, Jimmy, why do you choose why do you choose to do a heavy tatsu in that spot when you get cornered if you do that? And my answer was always, well, I'm using heavy tatsu because medium tatsu whiffs in that spot. And um, so while you're, this is a change, I'm pretty sure this is a change made so that your combo routes can be more easily chosen. Because sometimes you'd have to sacrifice um, Oki. <clears throat> sometimes you'd have to sacrifice Oki for uh, corner position. And that's something that I'm uh, I'm happy about. They're actually fixing heavy tatsu. Expanded the forward hitbox for the first hit. This is crazy. Okay. Uh, by the way, this these changes, the heavy tatsu and the medium tatsu, is probably a direct result of crouching medium kick getting buffed because of the expanded hurt uh, hitbox. Uh, it would make the heavy tatsu and medium tatsu even more inconsistent. So in order to combat this, they buffed. Uh, these two and on top of that it will make it even it will make it easier to do fireball punishes on reaction uh, specifically against characters like Galora uh, this will be easier so I'm very happy about that okay fix the phenomenon where he floated above the gr above the ground after the moves recovery ended okay I've never had that <laughs> okay ex donkey kick increase the forward movement distance Better range. That's nice. Change so that the move recovery can be cancelled into Tatsu on hit. Wow. Okay, okay, th so this is the combo that I've seen uh, online. So now you can do this on hit. That's super nice. That's so sick. We can basically choose Oki over damage now with the Tatsu. That's really nice that we're getting this option. Change the properties when performed as a cancel from a standing heart punch 
when Denshin Renki or Kako Fubatsu is activated. Yeah, but how did you change the properties? Why does it only state it changed the properties? B skill. Expanded the forward parry range. I think this is rarely a problem. This is a minor. This seems to be a minor change. This seems to be a minor change, but I guess this is a buff. <clears throat> so we still can't do EX Donkey Kick after Light Kick. Yeah, but that's not something that we need. If we could do EX Donkey Kick after Light Kick, then Light Donkey Kick would rarely make any sense. Actually, it would almost never make sense. That's a huge change. What's a huge change? The mind's eye? That seems like a minor change. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right. You can actually uh, parry fireballs quicker with this. You're right about that. You will, you will be able to nullify fireballs faster. It will give you a couple of extra frames. I'm wondering how much, how many frames you're actually going to get. Let's take a look at that. So Denjin, the V-Trigger 1. V-Timer decreased from, eight, from 1,000 to 800. Hi, YouTube. Okay, Smile. and V-Hadoken and V-Trigger, you no longer use V-Timer. Okay, this is a massive change, by the way. This is a crazy buff. This is a crazy buff. This is an insane buff. Like, this cannot be overstated, okay? Short Bloom. Hi, YouTube. Thank you so much for the bits, man. Okay, like, this change by itself can actually make Ryu viable, just so you know. You can actually apply a lot of pressure now. You get 15 extra fireballs. Somebody said 800 fr frames is 13.3 seconds. Uh, what's important about this change is it'll make the the fireball a bigger threat uh, at the moment nobody really gives a shit about whether you throw a v trigger fireball or not the reason why this is a big deal is because you can throw them without a penalty which will make people jump in more because they're expecting more fireballs which is correct by the way ah chris v trigger 2 has always been worthless uh, for competitive play v trigger 2 has always been worthless yeah, I get 13 seconds of standing light kick fireball loop, by the way, guys. I didn't even think about that, but Bruno is right. I can literally lock somebody in the corner for 13 seconds straight, and they have to eat all of the block, um, the, the chip damage. They can't avoid that. There's going to be a situation where uh, 13 seconds straight, they will eat a good chunk of life without being able to do anything about that. So we'll see how that goes. It's a true loop against certain characters, not against everybody, but there are, there are characters who cannot do anything about it. So we'll see about that. That sounds like an interesting change. I'm looking forward to that. Shinko Adoken. Change the amount of AX meter gain that the opponent gets on block from 0 to 50. So if you block the CA, the opponent gets meter. So that's a nerf, which is almost irrelevant, to be honest. Expand the, the upward hitbox when performed as a cancel from Shoryuken. Oh! You know what that means? Do you know what that means? Oh my god! That means I can do anti-air Shoryuken into CA. That means I can do anti-air Shoryuken into CA. That's, that was not possible before. Uh, you couldn't do anti-air Shoryuken and then CA and expect the CA to land. Yeah, that's Street Fighter 4 things, right? And now I can also more easily do cross-cut um, uh, Shoryuken into CA. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to that! Let's go! That's a great change. I, lo I love that. Okay, that's a great change. I've always been pissed about that. Ryu had no easy way to land CA uh, if the opponent jumped. And now he does, apparently. Yeah, Notorious, exactly. Crosscut uh, DP into CA will work a lot better now as well. You And you'll see that on my channel. You'll see that. It was trade only. You, you can't land a CA after a trade, sure you can. 
That's because of the juggle properties. That wouldn't work. Anyways, let's see that. Denjin Hadouken, V Trigger 1. Is the combo count when performed as a cancel from Shoryuken? Is the combo count when performed as a cancel from Shoryuken? I don't get this. You can't combo Shoryuken into a fireball. I don't I'm not sure what they mean by that. Yeah, but you can't do Shoryuken into Fireball. What do they mean by is the combo count when performed as a cancel from Shoryuken? Oh, Denjin Hadoken. I'm 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 stupid. They mean the critical art, my bad. <laughs> I'm stupid, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh so that means um Scaling won't be as heavy, which means this will do, Re will do more damage in V Trigger 1 mode. That's great. Change the amount of EX meter gain that the opponent gets on block. Oh, right, right. So this is something that we already knew. So that's, uh, you, you guys said that's a universal change, right? Jimmy looks so happy. The changes so far have been incredible. Way more than I expected, honestly. Expanded the upward hitbox when performed as a cancel. That's also the same change as with the regular Shinku Hadoken. And that's it for Ryu. That's it for Ryu. I've talked almost 26 minutes just about Ryu. Um, maybe I should stop the recording there and uh, talk about the rest of the characters in a separate video. I think that's fair, right?